so welcome back in sequel to the lecture one here is lecture two where we will visualize and interpret the results of gaussian output file as obtained after optimization so here you can see this output file with extension dot log we can now open this file into gaussian so we can open it from this gaussian tab So we can open it from here and let's make sure that read intermediate geometries optimization this box is checked so that you can read the intermediate geometries starting from the initial gauge structure to the final structure. So once you open this you will get this type of window where you will have different structures starting from initial gauge structure to the final structure so in it will show you the final structure as you can see this is 10 out of 10 so if you see how the initial structure was we started with a planar geometry as a initial gauge structure and now we are having basically the final structure tilted. So as I mentioned that these two phenyl rings cannot be in, in a plane so the dihedral angle between these two phenyl rings will be nearly 40 degrees. So if we measure this dihedral angle now you, if you can see how much dihedral angle is in between these two phenyl rings so you can basically see this is around 40 degrees so you can check here this one so it will give you this positive value so nearly 40 degree right so here you have this final structure now you can basically see the results and summary so you here you have a summary of a overview of the calculation and here you have optimization table where you can see that these all are converged okay so that is for the step number 10 that means the final structure so if we see for the other structure, so you will see that some of these four parameters or any one of these four parameters would not get converged. So the in, in the final structure of the optimization process, all these four parameters should be converged. Okay. So if we go back to structure nine, step number nine so you will see that this maximum displacement is not converged so if you go to eight you see this maximum displacement as well as rms displacement both of these two parameters are not converged so similarly if you see with the initial gauge structure none of this parameter has been converged all right so you can also view this optimization steps so this will give you this energy profile and as you can select so it will show you that particular structure so in this way you can basically view the structure now one thing to mention that if you see this summary you'll see that in the overview this imaginary frequency 
column is left blank. This is because we ran only optimization calculation, but we did not do frequency calculation. That's why this thermo tab is also inactive in this particular case. If you would perform the frequency calculation along with optimization calculation, then your thermo tab would be active. And in that case, you have to also check that there should not be any imaginary frequency or there should not be any negative imaginary frequency to indicate that the structure corresponding remain at the minimum at potential energy surface. All right. So this is how we interpret our results after optimization so i hope you have understood and thanks for watching that's all